This is 9.3 for statistic, testing, hypothesis, and finding confidence interval for two dependent mean or match pair in this case. Uh, we are in question three. It's saying that using the Oscar data set to test for difference between the ages of actress and actors when they, want, when they win the Oscars, use a 0 0.05 as a significance level. Uh, question A is asking to test the claim, again we have to use a hypothesis testing here, that there is no difference between the age of actress and actors when they win the Oscar. So this is your claim statement in this case. Um, again, in order for us to do the claims uh, hypothesis testing, you have to go through the five steps here. So uh, the now hypothesis in this case is mu d. And again, we use mu d in this case is because um, this is for um, there are, uh, you want to figure out if there's a difference between these two ages here um, because it's come from the same year, let's say to this year there are one actress and one actress won so they want to figure out are they winning so this is called a match pair so match pair in this case means that in the same year there are two winners but they are male and female Okay, so match pair is something uh, also used for like husband and wife, uh, maybe uh, sister and brother, or, 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 um, or siblings, or mom and dad. So those are what we call as match pair. So this is actually is a match pair case. Um, so that's the reason why that we are using um, the, the 9.3 in this case, or mu d in this case. Um, so um, in this case, mu d is equal to zero for your now hypothesis. For your alternative hypothesis, um, then you, we will use mu d as not equals to zero. And again, the reason why we use not equals to zero is because we were testing no difference. No difference means it's equal. So this is your claim statement here. Uh, no difference means equal in this case. And then we test against not equal in this case. Um, so for um, your sampling distribution, um, again, we are doing mean here, um, so it is going to be t distribution. Um, so um, the next thing is your r. So in order for us to find r for this case, since this is coming from the data file, so if you look at your um, your 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 r here, um, we are doing a hypothesis testing. We are using this d mu and alternative. Again, this is only um, we, there are only two types of um, um, R in this case, either confidence level or hypothesis testing, and they're all the same. So, but the D is the one that you need to figure out here. So first thing, when you guys look at this, um, this case, you have to tell me which one is your X and which one is your Y, because if you mislabel this, then you will get it wrong, okay? So by looking at this, um, I found out that the actress come first, so that means that my X in this case is actress, uh, but I don't want to use X in this case, I say female or F in this case will be my actress, actresses. And M in this case will be my actress. So that's the reason why that you have to do it. So in this case, my D in this case will be F minus M. Um, the reason why we use this is because um, if you get this wrong, then again, all your answers will be wrong. So in order for us to assign this, first thing first in your R, you have to get the data file named Oscar first. So you use the read table, and uh, you got the Oscar, uh, Oscar right here. And um, so in this case, we have to use actress and actresses. So if you look at this, um, we can find out that your actress is spelled this way and actress is spelled that way. And we label this as F and label that as M. So F in this case is going to be equal to X money sign A-C-T-R-E-S. This is the actress for this case. M in this case is X money sign actress. Um, so this is um, how we figure out and D in this case will be F minus M So be careful with this um, how you guys label this um, because you will get a lot of wrong if you don't So D in this case is a difference So what is this negative 22 is is they take the difference between the first winner So if you take 22 take away 44 that's why you get a negative 22 And if you take 37 minus 41 that is a negative 4 So you find out that um, this is how they got the difference here. So in order for us to do the hypothesis testing here, so we do t-test, d, mu equals to zero, and alternative equals to two-sided. 
Again, we use two-sided here is because we have to do our testing for not equal, equal and not equal sign. So uh, your test statistic here is given us, so let me copy this down too. So this is your R that was a point in your test. So make sure you guys have that in your test. So um, so in this case, your R, uh, your test statistic in this case, which is T, is going to be negative 5.1854. So a lot of students will ask me that, I, how do I know if this is T or Z distribution? You just look at your test. So if your test came out T, then it's a T distribution. If your test here came out Z, then it's a Z distribution. That's how we figure out very easily. Uh, your p-value in this case is going to be um, 1.412e to the power of negative 6. So if you want to put this in the decimal, it's 0 0.50s after that, and then 1412. So this is a very extremely small p-value that you have. Uh, now we talk about decision here. So uh, based on your p-value and your alpha, your alpha in this case is using a 0 0.05. We know that your p-value, which is very small here, is definitely going to be less than alpha because uh, this 0 0.00001412 is definitely less than 0 0.05. So we will reject the null hypothesis. Um, a lot of students are lazy. They just say we will reject. Um, do, uh, if you just say we are reject, we can reject the alternative hypothesis. So that's the reason why that when you guys write reject or fail to reject, make sure you put it down the null hypothesis. Always null hypothesis, we don't reject the alternative in this case or fail to reject. Uh, conclusion. So in order for us to do conclusion, again, we have to use the table. Uh, since this is testing with equal signs, so that means that your claim has an equality. Um, so that means it's one of this, and we are rejecting the null hypothesis, so we are doing number three conclusion. There is sufficient evidence to warrant rejection of the claim. So in order for us to do this, uh, then your conclusion in this case, uh, uh, there are sufficient uh, evidence to warrant rejection of the claim and what is my claim says the claim says that there is no difference between the age of actresses and actors when they won the Oscar in this case so this is your claim statement here uh, mostly copy and paste uh, for this case so this is what your conclusion do for um, this question a for this one uh, question B is asking us to perform a 95% confidence interval for the actress and actress for this case. So in order for us to perform 95 confidence interval, we just do t-test D. Uh, you can uh, ignore the conf level. You can put conf level 0.95 and I told you early, earlier before, if you do not put 0.95 in there, your R will default the confidence level as 0.95. So in order for us to find this um, confidence interval, uh, we just need to type in um, t-test D, very simple. Um, so this is how you get your 95% confidence interval. Or you can also look up here, um, which is the same because this is the 95% confidence interval given to us. So um, so the 95, uh, let me put it down there. So again, in your this one costs one point in your test. So don't forget about that, um, t-test D. So uh, the 95% confidence interval in this case is given us by negative 10.91 to negative 4.86 and the, uh, is a, the unit here is how old are they at the age. So that means that this telling us that uh, since both of these are negative, it's just telling us that the male or the actress are actually older than actresses in this case. So first thing first is uh, it does not capture zero. So first thing first, we found out that uh, this doesn't capture zero. If it doesn't capture zero, means that uh, mu in this case is not equals to zero. Okay, uh, mu d, sorry, mu d in this case is not equal to zero. So in order, since uh, this ci doesn't capture zero, so mu d is not equal to zero. So which is the same thing as what we just say here. It says that we are rejection of their equal. So when you reject their equal, 
So that means your mu d here is not equal to do zero. And the other thing you need to point out here is since both of these numbers are negative, so you can say that um, the actors are actually older than actresses in this case. Okay, because negative stands for um, they are older. So you can tell by looking at the number here. So when you see a negative, all this negative number, it means that your the actress are older than the actress during the time they were in the Oscar. If you see a positive, means that the actress is older than the actress. So in this case, by looking at the confidence interval, we came out they are all negative. Both of them are negative. It's just telling us that um, um, the actress in this case is much older than actresses when they won the, when they win the Oscar in this case.